Now I know the topic that I'm gonna discuss today will more than likely cause some issues with some people. Some of us are not mature enough to look at issues and understand what they are and recognize those issues so that we can do something about them. Some of us are too sensitive to deal with the real issues that are going on with us as a people here in America today. And a lot of times we point to the different things that have happened to us and Lord knows we've had a lot that has happened to us as a people. When you look at slavery, when you look at Jim Crow, when you look at redlining, all of these things have had a major, major impact on the wealth, uh, on the finances of black people. There's no two ways about that. Um, but the question is, will you allow that as a person? Will you allow that and say, oh, okay, because these things have happened, then I cannot move me and my family forward? Or would you be the type of person that says, even though those things have happened, because those are, that's the type of people we are. Even though things have happened, we can still overcome these things. We've overcome so much, uh, but this financial piece is a big sticking point for us. And much of it has to do with the experience of being black in America, but some of it also has to do with us not taking out responsibility for our own success, for our own finances, right? So I wanna talk about that today. I wanna to talk about that and have an open conversation on it. Any comments that you wanna leave in the comment section, feel free to do so. And understand that we're not always going to agree, but that does not make us enemies, right? It just means that we don't agree on certain things. But let's talk about finances and why I say we're bringing up the rear. We are last on the totem pole in major financial categories, the ones that mean the most. Let's look at it. When you look at the total net worth of black people here in America, and net worth is certainly a measurement of wealth, we're bringing up the rear. Total net worth in America um, or total net worth amongst black people in America is about $17,000. Total net worth, think about that now. That means that after all of your assets are added up and you minus the liabilities from those assets, you have a total net worth of $17,000. That's bringing up last place amongst white, Hispanics. That brings us, black people, bringing up the rear, right? When you look at home ownership in America, the rate of home ownership amongst black people, it brings us to the last place position again, right? Um, and of course, that's going to have an impact on net worth when you don't own homes. When you look at a wealth building period, we're last in wealth building here in America. Um, so this is the reality. This is what we're dealing with as people. Now, how I look at it is, is that I can't do anything for my people until I first do something for myself. I can't do anything for my community until I first build myself up, right? So I think it's a personal responsibility that you and I have as individuals first to get your own house in order and then we can start to look to help other people, right? Or help the people within our communities to get on their feet, to get an understanding of how the financial system works. And I think that basically is a big part of it. Um, not understanding how the financial system works, how capitalism works, right? To live in a society that's based on capitalism and you to go against capitalism, uh, to me, just doesn't pass the common sense test. It leaves you in last place when you do that, right? So it just makes sense to me to understand the system in which you live, and then you have a much better idea of how you need to operate within that system. And of course, business ownership, that's another area that we pull up and last on, right? We own the least amount of businesses in America. We make the least amount of money. Right. So making the least amount of money, owning the least amount of businesses will certainly impact net worth. Right. 
So that's how that goes. So it's important to understand the landscape because when we understand it, then we can start to make changes. We can start doing things differently so that we can get a different result. Now here is one area that we don't bring up last place in. You want to know what that area is? Spending. We spend over a trillion dollars annually on things, right? We are the biggest consumers. That plays a part in why we're last in net worth. That plays a part in why we're last in home ownership because we spend money uh, on things. We just buy things. We are consumer based people, right? When it comes to jewelry, when it comes to cars, when it comes to clothes, we want to be on the top of the list. We want to be the people that are out there spending the most money, right? Because it's all about looking good. It's all about what the outside world sees. And if they see us and we have a nice car and they see us, we have nice clothes on. We, that means that we are somehow successful. See, it's all right for us to seem to be instead of to really be. We're okay with how it looks. We want people to think that everything is good with us, but in reality, we're really not. We're hurting financially and we have to understand that so that we can curb our habits. We can start doing things differently so that we can uh, get different results. Until we start doing things differently, we'll continue to get the same results. We'll continue to pull up last place in these major financial categories, right? And it's based on, again, our way of seeing the world, our habits based on how we see the world, right? So in order to change our condition, right? In order to can change the current condition that we're in, I think we first have to understand it. You have to see that as being what it is, being in last, right? If finances was a sport, if it was a sport, I think we would look at it differently. But in the reality, it is a sport. We just don't see it that way. So it's about changing your perspective, changing the way that you see things, and I think that will help us to get a different result, right? Now, don't get me wrong. It's not just about, oh, okay, I wanna change it, and boom, it changes overnight. It's about first coming to an understanding and then being disciplined and consistent in your efforts to build wealth, to, to, to you know, make your net worth bigger. It takes discipline and consistent efforts over usually a longer period of time, right? Uh, so if we have to kind of cut those impulse things that we tend to spend a lot of money on. We know the, the things that we, we want, we want those things right now. If we see an influencer, YouTube or Facebook or any of the social media outlets, if we see these folks with really nice cars, Lamborghinis and Ferraris. Well, we want it and we want it right now. What we don't understand is we can have all of those things, but we have to put in the work. And then there is a order to achieving those things. And a lot of times we put the cart in front of the horse. We'll put cars in front of building wealth. We'll put jewelry in front of building wealth, right? So it's about switching the mindset, changing the way that you see things in order to get a different result. I know that this was a tough topic. You know, being in last place is not something that we want uh, necessarily to look at and deal with a lot of times. It's not cool being in last place. But the one thing about it is, is when you understand it, you can start running a different race. You can start strategizing a little bit differently so that you can get the results that you want. That's what I wanted to share with you today. I certainly hope this information has been helpful. If you want to learn about a business that can take you from where you are right now and move you to a different level, move you to a different financial level, move you to a different business level, I'll leave a free link in the description. It's my five video series and I titled it How the Load Movement Process Works. It will give you a chance to come into the office with me and you can watch me as I move loads, I talk to shippers and carriers to give you a better understanding of how this business works 
before you come into it. And then if you're interested in learning more about how we go out and get the customers that we work with, how we find shippers, I'll leave a free video link right here. So in the meantime, and until the next time, let's be a solution oriented people. Let's focus on a solution, not focus on why we're in the condition we're in because we already know why. Now it's time to solve the problem. I'll see you at the top of the mountain because the bottom is much too crowded.